let's look at this in very interesting sequence the sequence is 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 and so on and so forth summing up to 1 by n uh, n greater than or equal to 1 then this whole thing is a one term in the sequence huh? this this whole term is one term in the sequence this is essentially partial sum we need to see whether this sequence sequence of partial sum converges or not now what is a sequence of partial sum it's essentially series and this one is a harmonic series harmonic series let's see and check whether this is convergent or not so first of all let us try to look at whether it is monotone or not whether it is increasing or decreasing or what kind of a sequence is this so let's compare a n and a n plus 1 so if you have a n as what is given to us okay like this now this will always be less than or equal to if i add something to it a positive value to it if i add you know beyond 1 by n i add 1 by n plus 1 this term will always be greater than this right so what does that mean that means that a n is always less than or equal to a n plus 1 okay so which means which means that this is increasing implies that it is an increasing sequence it is an increasing sequence now what about bounded let's check boundedness boundedness okay let's check boundedness to check that let me first look at the term a 2n twice twice of n so this term will actually be 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus so on and so forth 2 to the power n so oh, this 2n is essentially 2 to the power n okay so n i am taking as 2n you will get to know why we are doing that in some time okay so i can just manipulate a bit here so i have 1 plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 3 plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 6 plus 1 by 7 plus 1 by 8 and so on and so forth i can add up the last few terms also i can add up one upon two n minus one plus one plus one upon two n minus one plus two so on and so forth till one upon two n okay okay now this is greater than or equal to 1 plus half plus plus 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 instead of 1 by 3 i am taking 1 by 4 then 1 by 3 is greater than or equal to 1 by 4 so therefore this term will be greater than or equal to 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 similarly it will be greater than or equal to this also if i just take 1 by 8 1 by 8 1 by 8 1 by 8 why am i doing so because 8 is 1 by 8 is the least right so if you have four times just 1 by 8 this term will individually be greater than this term right similarly moving on similarly you'll have this last term will be always greater than or equal to 2 to the power n plus 2 to the power n so on and so forth plus 2 to the power n okay it will always be greater than this so what is it if i calculate it is 1 plus half plus half plus again 
2 into 1 by 4 plus 4 into 1 by 8 plus so on and so forth. 2 to the power n minus 1 into 1 upon 2 to the power n. Okay. So, this term will always be greater than this. Now, in total these are, these should be n terms. In total these should be n terms. Okay. These, this is 2n minus 1 till 2n minus 1 and this is another uh, nth term. So, in total these are n terms. So, if I take the sum, if I take the sum, essentially these all are half, right? So, 1 plus half plus half plus so on and so forth. Again, in the end also you will have half by cancelling out, you will have half. So, essentially you have n times, so 1 plus n by 2. So, we have 1 plus n by 2. So, keeping 1 outside and these are essentially your n terms. Okay. So, what is happening here? What is happening here? And why we were doing this exercise? Okay. We were looking at a to the power a 2 to the power n terms. Okay. a 2 to the power n terms which is greater than or equal to 1 plus n by 2 and that's for any n that's for any n now the sequence 1 plus n by 2 the sequence 1 plus n by 2 is unbounded you know as n keeps on going it will keep on going 1 plus half 1 plus 1, 1 plus 3 by 2, it will keep on increasing and increasing, there is no bound to it, right? So, this one is unbounded and something which is greater than that, so which implies something and something in our case is a to n which is greater than greater than 1 plus n by 2 will surely be unbounded. If a smaller thing is unbounded, then something which is bigger than that will of course be unbounded, right? So, that means a n, that means a n will also be unbounded. Because a n, a n has an unbounded subsequence, has an unbounded subsequence. A to n, a to the a two to the power n was a subsequence of a n, and because the subsequence itself is unbounded. Therefore, a n will be unbounded. Now, since it is unbounded, it cannot be convergent. Okay. So, from what we have in the theorem, we have that a n n greater than or equal to 1 has a limit, has a limit which is infinite, which is infinite. It does not have a finite limit and therefore as all terms are positive, so that means this sequence is moving towards plus infinity. So in fact, harmonic series this is harmonic series and this will never be convergent.